It's my, it was my honor to make the Kedahan proud those days. Yeah. Coach, your success was something that many people celebrated, not just Kedahans, even Malaysians, because it's not easy to achieve that kind of, you know, success, you know, winning double trouble two seasons in a row, memang mantap lah, coach. Tapi spring, coach. <laughs> Actually, I mean, it's, uh, my my point of uh, seeing things that are uh, how I got this. Huh? Mm. Uh, being a player, I think I played for Kedah sometime mm. and being a captain and being a national player and so on. So I always think that uh, I'm one of the good players that uh, in, in Kedah. And then after becoming a coach, uh, my first success was uh, 1991. Uh, I came into KFA uh, 1990, being assistant coach to uh, Wanamit in the in the Sukma, and then second year he got promoted uh, to Kajang. He was a prison officer, so I was being uh, appointed as the head coach of the President Cup team. So that was the first time 1991 Kedah uh, became champion in the history of uh, President Cup for the first time. Then later on, go on that I mean, some uh, Maksak tournament here and then became champion and so on. And then uh, 91 when became President Cup champion, uh, it so happened the first team uh, relegated to Division 2. So uh, 92, Robert Albert came in. Hmm. So I was appointed to assist Robert Albert 92, 93. Uh, for two years, so, so from there, uh, the senior team did well. Uh, we became the second division champion, and then Malaysia Cup lost in the final to Pahang, and then '93 we became a Super League champion, uh, Division One champion, and Malaysia Cup champion. Then after that, I was thinking, Robert left in 1995 because uh, once uh, FAM said uh, no foreign coach in Malaysia. So he went to uh, Home United in Singapore and so on. Then I was thinking that uh, being his assistant and then I served the Kedah and so on, maybe I will be given a chance. And I was no. Somebody came in and so on. And then uh, after that, many, many times in Kedah, uh, especially end of the season, uh, my name came up. But it lasts only two, three weeks. Then later on, some some new coaches come in, some even some coach junior than me coming in, and so. So I keep on asking myself, am I not good enough? Am I not good enough? Or maybe because of my skin. Hmm. You, you sometimes you tend to think that way, you know, negative because yeah. I'm something I'm not. So that go on on and on. every now and then the, the name pop up, pop up. But then in two, three weeks. Habis, habis. And then the, until now I was, uh, uh, I think at one stage I was thinking that mungkin I don't have any chance to take uh, the M-League and so on. But that time I was still working in with the TNB, you know. Mm. So I was uh, posted to Kelantan in 2002 to take the Kelantan TNB team in the Division 2 M-League. So that was a golden opportunity yeah, for me, at least to I mean, feel of the league and so on. And then after one season in the in Kelantan, I was transferred back again to Kulim, Kulim to NB there. I was there one year. And in 2004, uh, while I was in Kulim, I was uh, coaching some local club. They call the Ansel. Ah, Ansel. Okay. It's where our our captain Victor Andra. Okay was my captain there. So in 2000, uh, 2004, I think one uh, was 18th of August, I received a phone call. I came back from uh, uh, from my site, working site. I came back, my office operator said, there was somebody uh, called you, but the name of at the end, Ri Ri or something like that. I said, what Ri? This is some Dato. Oh, Ri mean Dato Basri good. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he say he's coming, uh, he's calling back at uh, 2 p.m. So at 2 p.m. I was in the office on, on full call. Came in. Ring and then hello. Mohammad Azraiko. Alias, he put alias call ring. 
<laughs> my common name. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I am fine, Dato. Hey, I need your help. So I asked him, how can the people like me help you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, joke aside, I just, <laughs> saya baru sudah uh, balik daripada istana, baru menghadap Tuan Ku. Mm. First, Tuan Ku was uh, number one friend in Kedah. No? He's very, very uh, passion about football. Setelah menghadap Tuan Ku, Tuan Ku uh, suruh saya ambil alih team management and so on. They have already came to an agreement with the Brazilian coach Miradina, the former World Cup player who played for first English player to play for Newcastle. Newcastle. Mm. Yes. So we have already uh, agreed with the termination clause and so on. He agreed to step down. So uh, I mentioned your name to Tonku, and Tonku personally he knows who has a player. He said, "Okay, can he do the job?" So now I'm asking you, are you ready? So I told him, I am ever ready. <laughs> and then I waited, actually in, in my heart that I waited so long, man. And then, uh, if that's the case, you come over to Alastar now. I said, hey, I'm working, Dato. Now I'm going to tell your boss. Uh, panggilan, panggilan, uh, panggilan state government. So I <laughs> met my boss and then drive down. So it's where it started and then uh, with all the arrangement and so on. To me, uh, from like what I told you guys uh, many, many times, you know, many people, people come in, of course, uh, I give him, I give to our people uh, here and there. Pam, pam, pam. That is maybe I, what, I, what I think is is your risky, you know, Avinish. Mm -hmm. Your risky, and then people uh, from past, you may risky here and there. Maybe when I took the team, he up there saying, oh, ini banyak kali you may risky, orang sudah ambil. Ini sekarang, saya nak bagi you selumbu. Lamsam, you ambil. That's what, <laughs> that's what I believe until today lah. Because it's not easy, you know. To win one cup also is it's not easy. You see, some teams, they, they keep on winning. But you to win the, the triple is not easy. Kelantan did one, but then not, not double. But this one continues to yeah. When with the with the players that I have, you know, young players, when we won the double three balls, eighty percent of the boys were all under twenty one, hmm. and that time already majority some already already in the national team and so on. These other things, and then of course, a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, ideas here and there, what to do and so on. Hmm. But to me, you will honestly, he is there. He sees everything. That's right. What I believe, lah. What people say, how you know? No, it's 